know, despite being a small account, but there's this guy named Roy. Long story short, kicked out of Columbia, uh, lost his Harvard stuff, and created a company called Pooley. And long story short, <laughs> there was this Cluey drama that happened, right? So first, they announced they raised 15 million on fundraising. Honestly, I think it was just to pay for API credits, but these guys did some insane marketing, got tons of views. Gotta give them the props. Second, then some guy named Daniel made a clone of Cluey. This tweet blew up, right? Everyone was like, yo, this is cool. Cluey's completely free because they were giving out their API keys so you could use it. I used it. I didn't really like it. I thought like it can analyze videos, which it couldn't. So that's kind of a downside for me. So I just didn't use it, even if it was free. And then come to find out it was a clone. So there was this Soham Parikh guy that's been trending all of a sudden because this guy works at like 12 different startups at the same time. I'm not even lying. Long story short, Basically, the Soham Parikh guy, he open sourced a variant that these glass guys stole, right? Like if we, let me see if I can zoom in here. Ah. Long story short, he, he showed how to convert it, all this stuff because he's saying open source isn't free. <clears throat> if you have a GLP free, I don't even understand what any of this means, but I'm able to read and Let's just say this, you didn't build this in four days. You yoinked the GPL3 code, slap an Apache license on it and called it a startup. I mean, they aren't making money for it because it is free, but I, I truly don't know. Like if you had, um, if you downloaded Glass and went to the price and it literally said free, like there was no other option to change anything. So that was drama number two.